Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan, and I have got to shut my phone off before we go any further. Shut up! You don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... <laughs> I've got a 3D printing project that I'm so excited to share with you. Like, you'll probably think, God, Ryan, why are you getting so excited? But I... I love it. I love this so much. So, Blaslow on Thingiverse, I think I'm saying that right, Blaslow. If I'm not, I'm sorry. Um, I will link the original item down in the description, but it was a coffee mug that's tilted in midair, and then it's got, you know, the stream of coffee hitting the table, and then the splash. And I thought, gosh, I want to make that. That's really cool, but I want to give it my own personal touch. So, what better way than to have a pouring can of Ecto Cooler? Um, now, I'm going to just show you how it turned out, and then I'll go back into kind of how I got to this point. Uh, here it is. How awesome is that? Like, I am so thrilled with how that turned out. Now, if you decide to make this, notice that, like, the cans are printed differently. Like, the labels are opposed differently on every can, so you kind of have to... Like, if you wanted it to be displayed at this angle, which I might recommend because this prints on its side and there is a little bit of the uh, support material right here that leaves a jagged edge. So it's kind of hard to see, but, you know, that might not be the best side to display it. So this can would actually be better because the label is on the more appropriate side. But let me uh, explain how I got to that point. So the first one I printed out, this is the actual, like, unaltered, un touched version that fits inside the mug I, I never printed the mug out because i had no intention of using it but obviously this is too wide for the mouth of the can you can see there it's just it's not going to fit and i thought well i could get a grinding wheel and kind of cut out you know cut this wider and it would still look cool but i never got to that point because i thought you know what that's just not that's not clean enough i want it to look cleaner so i got on first i uh, created a Tinkercad account and I kind of messed around on Tinkercad and I just couldn't quite get it to do what I wanted it to do. It would shrink the whole thing but then this would shrink as well and it wouldn't line up then properly with the splash at the bottom. So I got, I downloaded uh, another free program called Tinkercad, sorry I'm bouncing around here. Tinkercad requires you to create an account and then you do all your work like online, like on the cloud or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I downloaded, is it Mesh Mixer? I think it's Mesh Mixer. And I started to kind of play around with it and tinker and I narrowed, I was able to narrow this part and keep this the same width. So it was like uniform. And the first, I just did a test print. I didn't measure or anything. And the first one I did, it was a little too wide. And I thought, well, I'm going to push it through. And it ended up like tearing the mouth of the can, which this will still work, but it still just wasn't quite, I mean, that looks like it's tearing the mouth of the can, right? So I finally got it narrow enough to fit just like you see right here. Um, and it, it, it fits really easy. So I went ahead and I, I printed another one in glow in the dark. And there's a little pin. You can see it here, actually, on the bottom of this one. I don't know. Ah, it won't come out anymore. But uh, the pin fits in there, and it fits in here. And it can only go one way. It's shaped uh, appropriately, so it can only fit into the splash one way. And then I, uh, I glued it in. I just dropped the pin in. I put some glue around the hole, dropped the... Uh, dropped the pin in and then set this and you know what i think I, I just cracked that one little piece right there so we got to be super careful now i got to glue that too but um i'll show you here how it just fits in really really easy it's a little bit tight and then it kind of and that's it that is totally it right there and I don't know, I didn't look at any other soda cans or anything, but you could probably use this for any type of soda. I mean, you could print it in brown or, you know, for Coke or whatever. Um, so at the, at the time of this posting, I don't have my uh, Thingiverse. I've got my profile set up, but I haven't uploaded any pictures or anything yet. I'm working on it. I'm going to go ahead and link my... Uh, Thingiverse profile down in the description as well. I will uh, eventually, hopefully sooner than later, upload this file for the narrowed stream to be used with a can. 
Um, but again, total credit goes to Blaslow. Like this is their baby. I just altered it a little bit for the can. So I don't know. I need to find out first if it's cool if, if we, you know, I see people put remixes of things and they give credit to the original uh, designer. So I'm I'm hoping that's all you need to do. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out, but I want people to be able to use this also. So um, yeah, that's it. And I thought doing the glow in the dark was super cool too. It gives it that little extra like ecto-y kind of feel to it. Um, but yeah, that's it. So this was like my first foray into altering something and I don't know that I'm going to get into it a whole lot because I've tried some other things and I'm just not that good at it yet and I'm still in that frustrating myself phase more than I am accomplishing anything but um this is probably next to the Ghostbuster logo I did before which I will link that down in the description as well um that I printed I didn't design it I just printed it out um besides that one this is probably my most favorite project so far I just I'm really I'm, I don't know I love it I love it. I think it's really cool. So with that being said, I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe. And until the next video, which is hopefully sooner than later, um, I will say see you later and take care. You know, sir, it's Cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, it's bigger than any superstar. All of us meet you some, some real to a bar. Some of them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom. Hey.